Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 76 for another run at Legendary Crafting. Today I'm going to turn my plain Jane non-legendary excavator power armor into something, well, better. We'll roll legendary effects on each piece and see what we get. Because I'm essentially starting from nothing here, I'm not going to be too picky. Plus, on this character, I rarely even use power armor, so some just generally positive effects will likely be good enough. I don't need to spend hours and hours grinding out perfect combos for this character. We'll save that for my heavy gunners, but uh, we may make a couple of rerolls here and try and improve things just in case, but it doesn't need to be some kind of god roll armor in order to work. Remember, if you like videos like this one and want to see more, do go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and follow me on Twitter. There's always more on the way. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, and first up, we're going to go ahead and roll some effects on the right leg. As you can see, there were uh, no legendary effects as of now. We'll roll three stars, see what we get. I've got tons of modules here. I don't want to burn them all up if I don't have to, but let's see what we've got. So auto stim with radiation resistance and a chance to deal 100 frost damage to melee attackers. If I were predominantly a full health player, then this wouldn't be a bad piece. Unfortunately, I'm not. Most of the time I play low health. This is my bloodied stealth commando character. The vast majority of the time, if I'm wearing power armor, it's because I'm going to Lucky Hole Mine to mine lead and maybe making a couple of pit stops to kill things and get steel along the way. So I'm not going to want to uh, totally change everything around just to accommodate power armor. So auto stim, unfortunately, is a deal breaker for me because I'm always below 25% health, so this thing would just burn up all my stim packs. Extra radiation resistance would be nice. Dealing frost damage to melee attackers, that's not a bad thing to have. Unfortunately, uh, with the auto stim effect on there, this one's just DOA for me. Let's go ahead and re-roll the effects on this one and see if we can make an improvement. The three stars again, and this one is definitely better. Okay, so here we've got the Mutant Slayer's effect with extra strength and a chance to deal fire damage to melee attackers. This one I kind of like. So Mutant Slayer's is one of the numerous situational effects in the game. On armor, I like it better than weapons because on armor, I can have kind of a collection of things, and that's honestly sort of what I was hoping for today is uh, if we can just have a piece that reduces damage from a variety of targets by 15% or 30%, if we get a couple of pieces, then that can actually be pretty useful for this character. Adding extra strength is just going to boost up carry weight, which is great because when I'm wearing this armor on this character is when I'm uh, trucking a whole bunch of lead ore and steel around, so that doesn't hurt. And a little extra fire damage to melee attackers, well, that doesn't hurt either. It's uh, not a guarantee or a given that it'll happen, but it doesn't hurt to have that on there. So I think I'm going to stick with this one, at least for now. Maybe we can always go back and re-roll things. Let's go ahead and do the left leg. So we'll do again three stars. We'll see if we can improve things again. This one we've got zealots with luck and junk item weight reduction. So the zealots effect, kind of perfect for what I'm going for here. Just uh, a little bit of damage avoidance from different things. So not a bad thing to have if I get caught up while I have my power armor with any scorched enemies. I can definitely uh, take advantage of that. Extra luck. Normally, you know, if you're a heavy gunner sort of power armor build, then you're not going to get a lot of mileage out of luck. But for me, being a commando build, extra luck will just increase my VAT's critical chances. So it doesn't hurt to have it, um, especially considering that I won't have my unyielding armor on while I'm wearing this. So... Not going to cry about that, not going to jump for joy over it either. Junk item weight reduction is one that I don't normally love because I think it's uh, I think it builds bad habits in uh, enabling players to carry tons of junk. But in this case where I'm very specifically putting this I putting this armor on so that I can haul around a bunch of crap, it's not a bad thing to have. Let's go ahead and do the torso next. Once again, we'll go for three stars. What do we get? We've got another Mutant Slayer's piece. This one with Cryo Resistance and Stimpaks, Rataway, and Radex are 5% more effective. So, 
Mutant Slayers, not a bad thing to have a double of. Uh, if there's anything that I ever do wearing excavator armor that isn't in Lucky Hole Mine, it's quickly hopping to super mutant locations to kill them, take their guns, and scrap them for steel. So this is not a bad thing for me to pick up. Uh, I don't always want to change out of things. Sometimes I just want to make it real quick and go do it. And uh, this would make that a little bit easier for me by giving me more protection from super mutants. Extra cryo resistance isn't going to help much during normal farming, but if for whatever reason I wanted to wear this during a daily op where we had freezing things, that might be beneficial. The third effect here, Stimpaks, Rataway, and Radix being 5% more effective. Um, who cares? I, I think that's a great big old who cares kind of effect, but uh, I guess it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's better than nothing. So it is what it is. All in all, this is a good piece for what we're doing. We're going to keep this one for now, make some more and revisit if we need to. All right, let's go ahead and move to the right arm. See if we can get anything good here. Come on, something good. Oh, this really isn't all that good, is it? Regenerating with endurance and a chance to deal frost damage to melee attackers. So it's not bad. It doesn't hurt me to have this, but regenerating health really doesn't do anything for me. I already run the healing factor mutation, so in between fights, I've got fast health regeneration already. So this one's doing a whole lot of nothing for me. Extra endurance, I guess it's not bad to get a little bit of HP, but I don't really need it. And the chance to deal extra frost damage to melee attackers, I like that. It's not bad, but it's a really low chance. So. I'm not sure that I'm getting a huge benefit from having that here. I think this is a good candidate for a reroll. Let's go ahead and try this one again. All right, can we improve it with another roll? Uh, okay, a little bit of a delay there, making me nervous. Uh, aristocrats with charisma and junk item weight reduction. So grants up to 20 energy and damage resistance the higher your caps. It's not a bad thing, but the the rate of return, the diminishing returns on damage and energy resistance when you're in power armor are pretty major. So I'm not sure that I really, really like that. Uh, extra charisma, I guess it's fine to have it, but there's not really a tangible benefit to that outside of maybe a few more caps from event completion. Junk item weight reduction, not bad to have that. I wouldn't mind keeping that effect. Uh, just because of the specific timing of when I use this armor. Ultimately, I think we'll probably re-roll this one because I don't love aristocrats, but it's not bad. So let's go ahead and roll the left arm and uh, we'll go back and make an improvement if we if we end up with that ability. So here we go. This one's not bad. So here we've got troubleshooters with extra intelligence and increasing the size of the sweet spot while picking locks. So that would be the what the safe crackers effect, I think, is is what it's called. So uh, much like zealots and mutant slayers, the troubleshooters effect is going to reduce our incoming damage from robots. So, again, not a bad thing to have just some general situational benefits that that could help uh, with overall damage reduction. I'll take that. Uh, I think troubleshooters, mutant slayers. Ghoul Slayers are probably going to be the most commonly used, but uh, Zealots isn't bad either, so why not? You know, maybe there will be a time where some other primary effect will appear to be super dominant, and, and I'll want that, but for now, we had nothing on here, so improving it to this is good. Extra Intelligence is going to give me more a little more XP. That's also good because I don't get to wear my Unyielding Armor while I'm in this. So I get to pick back up a little bit of that. So that's not a bad thing. But now I think it's time to look at what we want to re-roll. So the Aristocrats piece that I wasn't crazy about, I think, is the obvious candidate here. Just take another look at it. We've got Aristocrats. We've got Charisma. We've got Junk Item Weight Reduction. I like the Junk Weight Reduction because I'm using this when I'm picking up junk, but the rest of it isn't that useful. So I think uh, re-rolling this definitely makes sense. Let's go ahead and hit another three stars and see what we get. And this one, there are certainly people out there that will love this role. I'm not one of them. So Vanguards with Perception and Sentinel. 
where you get a 75% chance to reduce damage while standing still. I very rarely find myself standing still. I like to move quickly. I like to get things done. And uh, this is not a heavy gunner character where I might find that more useful. So that doesn't do anything for me here. Extra perception doesn't hurt to have, but it's nothing I desperately need. And vanguards, I'm running at low health almost all the time, so I'm going to get no benefit out of that. So while this piece might be really desirable for some people, it's definitely not desirable for me. It's not a bad piece. It's a very good piece of armor. It's just not good for me. So we're going to go ahead and re-roll this one again, see if we get anything better. And yeah, okay. So we're batting a thousand here. Uh, chameleon with poison resistance and ammo weight reduction. So the chameleon effect, I uh, got to give that a big old who cares. In power armor, I really can't see that being very beneficial. When you're in power armor, you're big, you're clunky, you're making a lot of noise. So that's not going to be particularly useful. Poison resistance isn't bad. I wouldn't mind having that, particularly for daily ops. But realistically, I'm probably never going to wear power armor on this character in daily ops. So that doesn't do a whole lot for me. Uh, ammo weight reduction, again, doesn't do a whole lot for me. I'm already running bandolier maxed out. So an extra 20% weight reduction isn't much on top of that. So this one, again, I think we're just going to need to re-roll it. So let's try again. We've got legendary modules, so we can try again. Nocturnal with extra endurance and fire damage. So again, damage and energy resistance increase at night. I don't love this. I don't love DR buffs. They're just not that good. Once you're over 300 or so total, which you easily will be with power armor, it's just not that good. It really just isn't. So uh, I don't think we're getting a lot of mileage out of that. Plus, it only works at night. Extra endurance, fire damage. I'm kind of in a big old who cares situation. Let's try this again. OK, this is better. This is definitely better. We've got ghoul slayers with endurance and increasing the sweet spot while picking locks again. I don't really care about that particular effect. I don't think it's particularly beneficial, but certainly doesn't hurt us. Extra endurance doesn't hurt us. The big one here is minus 15% damage from ghouls. Well, I think overall, this one is going to work for me. Uh, while these are not uh, life-changing effects, for my purposes, I think it works well. Honestly, considering how often I'm in Lucky Hole Mine, Assassins probably would have been pretty solid. But this at least gives me a little bit more freedom that if I do decide that I just want to run around and go grab some junk somewhere or grab some weapons from enemies to collect steel and things like that, that I can just do that without too much concern. The unfortunate part about these rolls today is I didn't really get any second or third stars that I absolutely love, but the whole idea was kind of to build a starter set for a set of armor that I don't even use all that often. So all in all, we're going to get reduced damage from a variety of enemies, which is definitely useful. So that's not a bad thing to have. But I think that's a good place to stop this one for today. So we built up a set of legendary excavator power armor. It's now better than it used to be. It's not some god roll set by any means, but we can always craft more again later. That's the whole beauty of this system is right now I can make an immediate improvement and fine tune that as time goes on. So I thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this one today. If you did, please do go ahead and leave a like subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter. You all know the drill at this point. There's always a lot more to come on the channel, and I hope I see you all next time.